There are strange things done in the midnight sun by the men who moil for gold. The Arctic trails have their secret tales that would make your blood run cold. The Northern Lights, they have seen queer sights, but the queerest they ever did see was that night on the marge of Lake LaBarge when I cremated Sam McGee. Now, Sam McGee was from Tennessee where the cotton blooms and blows. Why he left his home in the south to roam round the pole, God only knows. He was always cold, but that land of gold seemed to hold him like a spell. Though he'd often say in his homely way that he'd sooner live in hell. Now, well, it was on a Christmas day, and we were mushing our way over the Dawson Trail. Ew, talky or cold. Through the parka's fold, it stabbed like a driven nail. For eyes we'd close, then our lashes froze till sometimes we couldn't see. Wasn't much fun, but the only one to whimper was Sam McGee. That very night, as we laid packed tight in our robes beneath the snow, and the dogs were fed, and the stars overhead were dancing heel and toe, and he turns to me and, Cap, says he, I'll cash in this trip, I guess. And if I do, I'm asking that you won't refuse my last request. Yeah. He looked so low that I couldn't say no. Then he says with this sort of a moan, It's this cursed cold, and it's got right hold till I'm chilled clear through to the bone. It ain't being dead. It's my awful dread of the icy grave that pains. I want you to swear that, foul or fair, you'll cremate my last remains. Now, pal's last need is a thing to heed, so I swore I would not fail. Then we started on at the streak of dawn. God, he looked ghastly pale. He just sat in the sleigh and he raved all day of his home in Tennessee. But before nightfall, a corpse was all that was left of Sam McGee. Uh, there wasn't a breath in that land of death as I hurried, horror-driven, with a corpse half hid that I couldn't get rid because of a promise given. It was lashed to the sleigh when it seemed to say, Ye may tax your brawn and brains, but you promise true, and it's up to you to cremate these last remains. Now, a promise made is a debt unpaid, and the trail has its own stern code. But in the days to come, though my lips were dumb, in my heart how I cursed that load. And in the long, long nights by the lone firelight, while the huskies round in a ring, howled out their woes to the homeless snows. God, how I loathe that thing. And every day that quiet clay seemed to heavier and heavier grow. But on I went, though the dogs were spent and the grub was getting low. The trail was bad and I felt half mad, but I swore I would not give in. And so I'd often sing to that hateful thing and it hearkened with a grin. Till I came to the marge of Lake LaBarge. They were in a derelict lake. It was jammed in the ice, but I saw in a trice it was called the Alice May. 
and I looked at it and I thought a bit and I looked at my frozen chum and here said I with a sudden cry is my crematorium some planks I tore from the cabin floor and I lit the boiler fire some coal I found that was lying around and I heaped the fuel higher. The flames just soared and that furnace roared. Such a blaze you'll seldom see. And I burrowed a hole in them glowing coals. And I stuffed in Sam McGee. Then I took a hike. For I did not like to hear him sizzle so. The heaven scowled and the Huskies howled, and the winds began to blow. It was icy cold, but the hot sweat rolled down my cheeks, and I don't know why. Is the greasy smoke in an inky cloak went streaking down the sky. Now, I do not know how long in the snow I wrestled with grisly fear, but the stars came out, and they danced about. Here again I ventured near. I was sick with dread, but I bravely said, I'll just take a peep inside. I guess he's cooked. This time I looked. So the door I opened wide. <laughs> and, <laughs> and there sat Sam. Cool and calm in the heart of the furnace roar. He's wearing a smile you could see for a mile. And he says, please close that door. It's fine in here, but I greatly fear you'll let in the cold and storm. Since I left Plum Tree down in Tennessee, this is the first time I've been warm. So, yes. There are strange things done in the midnight sun by the men who moil for gold. The Arctic trails have their secret tales. They would make your blood run cold. The northern lights, they've seen queer sights, but the queerest they ever did see was that night on the marge of Lake LaBarge when I cremated Sam McGee.